and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you a top 10 resistance band workout for arms and shoulders at home. We're going to beef up, Brad, right? Absolutely, By Bob. Way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, actually in conjunction with yes. this, our giveaway, if you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section. This week, we're giving away a set of wall anchors. Now, these wall anchors can be used with the bands. We'll show you how they work. Fantastic for doing a home workout. If Absolutely. you have studs, you got to put the... Wall anchor into studs. You Wooden studs. Right. All right. You can also find it on Facebook, the giveaway that is. Yes. At the top of the page. Short version of us. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. There you go. All right, Brad. Should we get started? Yes, absolutely. So uh, you're working on, this is for the arms, shoulders, and even a little bit more, you're going to get some benefits. You're going to get some trunk. Core workout. Yeah. A little bit of balance. Uh, and what you're going to need is some bands. Okay, Bob, why don't you just grab one of those bands sure. over there? These are so popular nowadays. They get more and more popular, uh, you know, right there. Um, and often when you buy these bands, they give you one of these things. And this goes into your door, and you close the door, and then you hook this thing up to here, and then it gives us something to pull against. Well, the wall anchor makes this seems completely obsolete, and you'll see why in just a little bit. So uh, this, this works okay. This works really good. You'll right. see why. Okay, That's a Bob. scary to me, but um, by the way, this is based on the Tom Brady system, right? Tom Brady, the quarterback for the New England Patriots. Well, not anymore. Yeah. Where's he, Mike, now? Flo Buccaneers. Buccaneers, Florida. So, I mean, here's a guy 42 years old, and his pure strengthening is done with bands. Right. Yeah, so. and it keeps them going. Uh, okay, and that's how I do too. So we're well, going to work start, on biceps. I'm gonna Bob's going to show. Yep. So we got the anchor on the bottom. He's got the he's got two bands: a dark band, yep. blue and black. Yeah. So we're going to work. This actually is a pretty decent workout here. And I usually actually when I do biceps using the bands, I do a set this way first with two bands on each on each side. But then I actually go to once it's warmed up. I really work it out, Aaron. This is a hard workout. Yep. This you... limits me. Am I missing something, Brad? No, Bob, I was going to say, oh. yeah, you can really, if, if you really want to increase the intensity, there's a oh. lot of options. Oh. Now, I do my biceps because I don't know why I start doing this, and I really like it. Actually, give me yours. I, I can't have yeah. Bob show me up. I lay down <laughs> and you keep your posture and it's a very relaxing way. It isolates. You can control the resistance by how far you are from the wall. And I'll do them like this. And I'll do three sets of 10. Look at the guns on that guy. If I'm a little, you know, I just go back a little bit farther if I decide, oh, I need a little more resistance. Does it ever pull you to the wall? Well, you know, <laughs> I don't have carpet. So yeah, I, I do have shoes on and I put my feet like that. And I, keeps me from sliding but it, like as brad said this really isolates it does i mean it, you, you can't get any accessory movement to try to help you and so it's all about on the arms so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how easy it is just to pull that off there and now i can slide it up here and obviously this this upper one should be set for your height right i mean if brad wouldn't put it this high and i'm going to flip around and i can go ahead and do triceps yep so we're working Biceps and triceps, which is... I like to keep my elbows in, and I'm just pulling down like this. Now, we're doing a giveaway on these, aren't we? Yep, this is... We're giving away the wall anchors, and uh, if you use our link below, you'll actually get a set of four of them. If you go on Amazon, you only get a set of three. Right, and ours are actually cheaper. And ours are actually a little bit cheaper, uh, so you're going to go ahead and get an extra one, and you can do different things with it at different heights. This is the same way, Brad, again, I can also go with one ah. and really work her hard. If you don't think you can get a good workout with this, if you use enough bands, most of you, unless you're a monster, can get a pretty good right. workout. Boy, I'm getting a little pumped up. So he's now. got two bands on there. I've actually gone up to four bands, uh, but that's another story. 
Gives you a lot of versatility. Well, right away he's got to brag. <laughs> Listen to this guy. They weren't all dark bands. They were some yellow I'm ones in there. going up to four bands. This is how I do my triceps. Again, I'm already on the floor, so I just turn my body around. Arm, elbows flat, stabilizes there, and I go like this. And it works out great. Actually, what I do in my real life, I do these tricep, 10 of them, and then I also do my lat pulls, which we're gonna oh, show sure. late, later on uh, how you can do them with the wall anchor standing up. Again, it's the beauty of the anchor. Bob, what's next? I think we're doing uh, flies. I think you're doing those, aren't you? Yeah. On the middle one? Yep. So you wanted to switch those? Yep, so we're gonna take that off of there. I'm gonna go on here. And now, I always do reverse flies for posture. Bob, do you want to uh, tell him yeah, why? Look what he's doing here right now. He's pulling his shoulder blades together. He's using all the muscles there to help keep the upper back in really good posture. So this is a fantastic one. This is one that, I, to be honest, this is the one you should do every day. Everyone should do this one. Right. I don't care if you're 105 years old. You should be getting up there and grabbing those bands and there, pulling back. There you go. So... And then, All right, then you switch right around. I'll right do around. a superset, and I'll switch her over, and then I want to get my pec muscles and my anterior delts, and I'll work it here and do it nice and slow, good control. How's everyone doing out there? Yeah, look how wide-based he is there. I mean, he, he can really get uh, some good strengthening going there on the Sometimes I'll, I'll do these on one foot so I can incorporate some balance with it, get those ankles working at the same time. On all these, I usually do 10 to 15, actually 10 to 12, but you can go up to 15. You know, when I do those, I use eight bands because Brad only Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stories continue to grow. Yeah. You know how So now I'm going to go ahead and do some lats, and these are the ones my wife just loves doing. She's like, she had a, a membership at a gym just so she could do lat pull downs. Sure. She really likes those. And then once we got one of these, she's like, well, I don't need to go to the gym anymore. And she does these throughout the day. Now you can also do these. You can put a little more resistance on it. You can go into a seated position. Kind of get a little rough on my back there. Well, that's um, because you were supposed to go in the other end. Yeah, I know I was. <laughs> <laughs> and so now you're getting a little bit of leg workout, a little All bit right. of core workout. And at the same time, you're working the lats even a little bit harder now. Right. This is, you know, it's the isometric chair, so those quads yeah. are getting some extra workout. There's just so many benefits to, to banding, I'm finding. Uh, now, you're going to do diagonals, Brad, right? So yeah. watch what we do here. We just pull this over. There. There you go. Now, I like to do this one. I'll work one side. It works core, pec muscle, and to your deltoid. I get in that good athletic stance, and I pull over like that, and you really get a nice workout. And I'll, I always feel with my other hand right in my stomach to make sure my abs are really working hard. And it's really a nice deal. You're getting everything from the waist up. And uh, obviously, make sure you do both sides on this one. Otherwise, you'll end up lopsided. And we'll have none of that. Kitty wampus. You'll end up kitty wampus. Kitty wampus. Yeah. Well, That's say no term. more, Bob. Get those. Yep. I can feel a little abdominus, rectus abdominus, Bob, are working well. All right, what's All right. the next the one? last one, Brad, you're doing standing shoulder flexion and abduction. Oh, you're yeah. you do this from the lower level, yeah. right? Yeah. Make sure you put it on the bottom. Yeah. There you go. All right. So if you want those deltoids, shoulder flexion, and that's the nice thing about these, you can turn them like this or yeah. like this. And... We're going to work here. Now, you know, some people will go up high. Because we're therapists, we know that if you go up high, your shoulder's a little more risk for impingement. So we're, we emphasize to 90 degrees or about. And, and understand that these are not huge muscles. You know, we've got, we got short muscles moving a long lever arm. Right. So, or lever arm. I don't know how you say it. So you really don't need that much resistance normally right. to, do it, to do those. But you, you certainly can add more. And you can, then right, if you feel like to it. the side and yep. get those. Same thing. Good yep. posture with these. Really Medial good delt. posture. Uh, and that, that's going to make impingement a lot less likely to happen if you have really good posture. Oh, so. Bob, this is going to be tired. There you go. You got to get a tattoo, Brad. Yeah. Get well, an anchor or something on there. Anchor, Bob. Well, no, yeah, that's an old, you know. Anchor arms, there we go. <laughs> Remember Anchor Inn? That used to be an all-you-can-eat place. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that must so, be a Minnesota thing. Yeah. yeah. 
So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for what is it? A broken heart. A broken Bob. heart. We can fix. We can fix relationships even. If you send us information about your relationship, Bob, we'll give you advice. Bob, you're starting to stretch it now. <laughs> right. they, they know better than that. All right. Thanks for watching.